Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, Gangster Farmer videos. Today we're doing uh, Legos and it's tractor related. So I have uh, Nathan Masters here. Hey everybody. He uh, has a channel called Brick System Brothers. Uh, go check it out, hit the subscribe button. He does a really good job uh, if, uh, making Legos interesting, even if you don't like <laughs> Legos. Uh, I hope you have <laughs> slight interest in it, because that's all we talk about. <laughs> yeah. But hey, at first I wasn't, and I, I kind of like it now. So, but yeah, so we're talking about uh, this Lego tractor here today. Yep. I wanted to ask Travis, as a farmer, yep. about this specific tractor. Um, maybe just some of the, the basics here, characteristic wise. This is an older tractor. Um, if you could give maybe a range of years when this would have been kind of a new model, or maybe something that it would be based on. Okay. Uh, so like it's maybe a typical brand that I look at here, other than it being red, you put shape red with Case IH. Yep. Uh, but maybe it looks like a Ford, one of those older Ford tractors. Okay. And probably looking 70s here. It doesn't have a cab on it. So yep. a lot of the 60s, 70s, 80s era didn't have cabs. That's why those older, older farmers are always like, what'd you say? <laughs> uh, Lots of hearing, yep. Yeah. That's interesting you say that because uh, this set was released in 1978. Oh, right nice. In, right in the middle <laughs> of that year. So you knew the answer. You got some stuff. <laughs> well, that's when Lego put it out. That doesn't mean oh, that it's good. That doesn't mean it's a tractor. So, yeah, um, with the red coloring, you know, maybe that was um, related to a brand, but more than likely, Lego just chose it because red is kind of yeah. a bright color. It's cheerful. Uh, so, another thing that I had a question about was related to the wheel sizes. Why would you say there's maybe smaller wheels up front? larger wheels in the back. Yeah, sure. So you see that on a lot of tractors. Uh, and the front, when you steer here, the wheel, uh, the front, yeah, moves. Because yeah. that helps with the steering. And so, yep, because that's better to have smaller. Uh, and then in the back, it's weight bearing. Mm -hmm. So that's where a lot of weight, you pull from back here is where you have an implement hooked yep. up. And it also gives on um, these newer, newer tractors, this one too, visibility. Helps mm. too from the driver's seat yep. here. You're up higher. Yep. Up above that axle. Yeah. So on this uh, specific Technic model, there's actually a function. If we drop this lever down, that yeah. will engage a little gear in here, and this wheel drives uh, implement on the back. Nice. So you know, besides the fact that it actually works, which is kind of cool, um, <laughs> taking a look at this, what would you say this implement kind of represents? So it it's yeah. got three things on here that are kind of spinning. I was thinking maybe a mower. Yeah, definitely a mower uh, of a sort, disc bind really, okay. if you get more specific into it. Uh, so it's used to cut hay, uh, forages of kind to feed you know horses and cows and whatnot. So yep, disc bind, so there's, uh, these yellow probably sharp to cut, yep. to cut forages, to cut grass. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nifty. Hmm. I personally have been looking to buy one, so... <laughs> well, this probably is, wouldn't quite get the, uh, the coverage that you're looking for yeah. on your uh, full-scale farm. That's, that is good there. That's yeah, the little neat. lever, I think that's that's pretty cool. Especially for a 70s Lego set, kind of building in this functionality here. So. That's true. Uh, so, does anything else, you know, just strike you about the model right off from your perspective? You know, I, I'm coming from a Lego background, so I'm kind of looking at it through that lens. You're coming from a farming background. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really neat set. Uh, I like here on the side, it has kind of a, a step place to get up. That That's pretty accurate there. Uh, yeah, like I said before, I, I like the drop thing. Yep. The size of tires, it looks, it's, I mean, it looks a huge difference, but uh, it looks pretty accurate. They got the uh, exhaust muffler in an uh, accurate spot. A lot of times, maybe with the 70s, uh, it could it could be in the middle, uh, mm -hmm. but you know blocks vision. We can do that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one other thing I had a question about here was on the side as I was building this. There's actually a little bit of variation um, on these plates, and it kind of creates maybe some engine detail. So on the real tractor, is there uh, yeah. just kind of an open section like that? Yeah. So it's great that Lego did that because uh, on these ty these types of tractors. Uh, there are, because there are be like belts here, the engine will be here, you can actually feel the heat coming off if mm. you're sitting in the driver's seat. Yep. So it's a good place to like work on a tractor, it makes it easier, for like oil filters, stuff like that. Because these newer tractors today, they, uh, they're they not as quite as easy to work on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, uh, if we were to build an accurate model today, we could actually do a lot better, because in 78, 
Lego just had these plates and bricks and kind of basic shapes, but yeah. we could actually put a lot more detail in here uh, if we were to give this an upgrade. Thanks, Nathan, for uh, helping me put together this video. A little bit different for people that farming from them farming necessarily, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate you know your insight as a farmer and coming from your background, kind of taking a look at it through that lens. Because like I said. I have kind of a different background where I can look at this and really appreciate what Lego has done and the techniques and all of that, but I don't have as much knowledge about, um, you know, the different technical aspects of the Technic tractor. Yeah, yeah. So. all in all, I was really, really impressed, so uh, it's kind of neat to look at how agriculture has its foot in a lot of doors more than you think. <laughs> Very true. All right, thanks for watching this episode of uh, The Gangster Farmer.